Hello, everyone. This is a presentation regards to the human perception for hybrid image. Well, generally speaking, I have divided my presentation into five parts. Firstly, I will explain what is hybrid image. Then, the perceptual principles will be introduced. After that, we will focus on how to obtain such a hybrid image. Next, the technical part, the design of filters and other. Finally, the application will be referred to. Okay, now let us focus on the first part. What is hybrid image? Well, before I start the explanation of this term, I want you to appreciate several pictures. Well, here's the first picture. What have you seen in this picture? That's right, there is a young woman looking at her reflection in the boundary mirror. However, from the distance or looking into a smaller size of the picture, the drawing becomes a skull. This impressive work named All is Vanity, drew by Charles Allen Gilbert in 1892 to illustrate the fate of life. Then, the second picture is the most effective contemporary double image painting, the slave market with the disappearing bust of Voltaire. In this painting, what looks like Voltaire's head from afar is actually a group of characters and an arc opening in the wall. When viewed from a middle distance, the viewer perception seems to switch back and forth manually between seeing the overall picture and the detail. Actually, the two different perceptions are actually captured in different parts of visual information that reaches our eyes. The third picture is based on a tiny dot of different colors and brightness. Different shapes emerge from this dot depending on the viewer's distance from the image. In this picture, we see the global shape of a large ear. One can perceive a Madonna and the child forming the ear's rigid interior surface. Hybrid images represent a false approach to making double images directly from photographs or drawings. Hybrid images can be made from existing images using standard image manipulation software, in this case, MATLAB. Taking this fam famous uh, picture as an example, can you see Albert Einstein? Okay, now step back a few meters away. Who will you see? Definitely Marilyn Monroe. It is interesting, right? Actually, a hybrid image is a single picture that combines the low spatial frequency of one image with the high frequency of another image, producing a new image with an interpretation that changes with viewing distance or size. Okay, let us move on to the next part about perceptual principles. I will analyze this part from two aspects that is the viewing distance and viewing speed. For the viewing distance, take another example. Can you see Einstein in this picture? Okay, now can you see field? Actually, the effect of smaller size is the same as viewing picture from afar. Let's say about three meters away. The frequency distribution of the two pictures are allocated as shown like this where field is indicated by green and instant is indicated by blue. However, by the filter with contrast sensitivity function in human visual system, indicated by gray dashed line here. Only most of the low spatial frequency components, I mean field, would be seen. In contrast, at a distance of 0.5 meters away, only high spatial frequency dominates the perception. That's why Einstein is to be seen. For the viewing speed, please pay attention to what I will show you now. Did you see a cheetah? Okay, please continue focus on the screen. How about this time? Good, it's a tiger. Research in human perception suggests that human tends to observe the low spatial frequency components firstly, and then turns to focus on the high spatial frequency components.
Next, let us explore how to obtain a hybrid image. As mentioned above, a hybrid image is a single picture that combines the low spatial frequency of one image with the high frequency of another image. Hence, let the image of Monroe pass through the low frequency filter to get a blurred image. And let the image of Einstein pass through the high frequency filter to get an image with fine lines. Then, by simply adding these two images together, we can obtain the final hybrid image. This is definitely straightforward. However, the problem is how to obtain a compelling hybrid image. There are several approaches, and the first one is to align the features inside the two images. After comparing these three pictures, one can easily point out that the third image has the best effectiveness. This is because the first image simply combined two images together without any alignment. The second picture aligns only the eyes, while the third image aligns not only the head pose but also the eyes and mouth. Furthermore, the color distribution could be used. In this case, color is used in high frequency component to strengthen the basco and reinforce the shadow of the motor back in the low frequency components. Besides, the cutoff frequencies for the filters are needed to be chosen carefully in order to achieve the best effect. In the left image, the two filters have strong overlap. Hence, there is not a clear alternation between two interpretations, which is a bad hybrid image. By contrast, in the right image, the two filters have little overlap. The resource therefore shows a clear interpretation alternation which can be considered as a good hybrid image. Okay, now let us move on to the next part, the design of filters and adder. In this project, the software of MATLAB was used to build Gaussian filters and adder. The picture shown on the screen indicates the progress of the project that is to pass the image of Monroe through Gaussian low-pass filter and pass the image of Einstein through high-pass filter. At the end, combine these two images together by adder. Let me show you the code on MATLAB to demonstrate this program. Well, as you can see from here, we firstly read the image and turn it into grayscale. Then pass the processed image through low and high pass filters respectively. Finally, we can get four images, the two original images and the two uh, separately processed images. Then store these two images and import them to the code of adders we can finally obtain the hybrid image. Actually, in order to have better effectiveness, it's better to design an alignment mechanism as mentioned above. Well, the last part shows some applications of image fusion. For example, the remote detection, the medical image analysis, safety navigation, anti-terrorist, environment protection, traffic monitoring, disaster detection and forecast, and so on. Hence, this technology has been applied on various fields and have broad developed space nowadays. In conclusion, this project processed two images of Monroe and Einstein respectively to obtain one hybrid image by combining two filtered images together. From where we learn the human perceptual system, the design of hybrid image, and the technology behind this. Well, this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thanks for your listening.